Hey man, thanks so much for letting me borrow your 12 gauge. Yeah man, anytime. I hope you have a great time. Be safe. Absolutely, you have a great day. <laughs> Scott's such a nice guy. Break this bad boy out. Oh man, that's a little bit different than what I expected. 10 gauge? Well, 10 is three less than 12, so can't be that much different. The heck, dude? What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some fun with my favorite shotgun caliber, the Almighty 10 gauge. I have two new 10 gauge shotguns to show you and I have some very interesting ammo that you have never seen for a 10 gauge shotgun. So let's go get set up and have some fun. So let me introduce you to my newest additions to my 10 gauge collection. This is a New England Firearms single shot 10 gauge partner. It doesn't look like it's anything special, but it is. Normally these have about a 30 inch barrel. This one has an 18 inch barrel. I'm very excited about this one, but I'm even more excited about this one. This is my Browning BPS 10 gauge shotgun pump action. And this sucker holds eight rounds of 10 gauge plus one of the tube. And let me tell you that is a lot of 10 gauge. So now that you've seen the shotguns we're using today, I wanna to show you the ammo. And I'm really excited about it because these have never been available in 10 gauge before. So if you don't know the difference between 10 gauge and 12 gauge, you're about to find out. 10 gauge is bigger in diameter and it's just an all around bigger shotgun shell. This is a 12 gauge shotgun shell that is two and three quarter inches and that is a one ounce slug. And this, is a 10 gauge shotgun shell. That is a three and a half inch shell. And if we were comparing slugs to slugs, you'd have a one and three quarter ounce slug in comparison to a one ounce slug. Today, we're gonna to be using several different types of ammunition, but the ammunition I'm most excited to show you are these right up here. So this is a 12 gauge brass pellet made by Ballistic Machinist Ammunition. And this is their steel dumbbell. A lot of you have seen these in action before on this channel and lots of other channels, but these have only been available in 12 gauge until today. So today I have a 10 gauge brass pellet and you can see there is quite a difference between the 10 gauge and the 12 gauge. That is a 700 grain brass pellet. And this is the 10 gauge steel dumbbell. That is also almost 700 grains. As you can imagine, these are probably gonna deliver quite a punch and I'm really excited to get started. But before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and they're not going anywhere. They've set the bar pretty high and they're the first game to give you a true console level experience on your phone. The newest addition to Raid is a legendary champion from the High Elves faction, Deliana. Deliana is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game. She possesses some great skill sets and abilities which will be helpful to all players no matter what stage the game you're in. Raid is currently running a special Deliana Chase event where you can get your hands on this legendary champion just by logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and July 20th and you get Deliana for free. And Deliana can be unlocked by all players. It doesn't matter if you're new to the game and you're opening Raid Shadow Legends for the first time or if you're a Raid Shadow Legends veteran you can get Deliana for free. And speaking of new players, if you're new to the game, once you're in, use code MYDELIANA to get your hands on everything. You'll get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. And there's a ton going on with Raid this month. They're running special events every single day, and they have a new event just for the summer called Path of Life. But wait, there's more. There's also a new set of champions coming out and a new set of skins for the amazing Trunda Guilt Mallet. And I have to say, 
They look pretty awesome. This is the best time to get started in RAID if you click my link in the description down below or scan the QR code here on the screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. And all this treasure will be waiting for you right here. Again, a big thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with just getting familiar with these new shotguns. So I'm gonna take a few shots with each one at our steel targets here and maybe the old Terminator. I'll be using some Winchester 10 gauge, three and a half inch turkey shot. Let's see just how bad this thing kicks. Oh my goodness! have a new favorite shotgun. Gosh. One more. <laughs> now it's time to try out the BPS. I'm pretty excited about this one. I have eight rounds of the Winchester turkey shot loaded up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the tube and we're gonna top off for a total of nine. <laughs> Here we go. My gosh, this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, that, that is so much firepower. So the first thing we're gonna do today is see how effective the 10 gauge shotgun is against flamingos. Okay, I've got the Browning BPS and I'm loaded up with some turkey shot. Oh my gosh. for a headshot on this one. Oh! Holy smokes! I think he's gonna need one more though. Woo! Ow! Dang! <laughs> you know, it's really unrealistic in the movies when someone gets hit with a shotgun, they just go flying into a wall. Well, that's exactly what these flamingos did. That was insane. Let's see here. This one, I was hoping that if I just hit it in the head that it wouldn't fall over, but it still fell over quite violently. And then there was the uh, body shot. This guy over here, he went the furthest. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some pellets there. Look at that. Oh, that's dirt. Dirt and lead. <laughs> These flamingos make pretty good targets. For once, I'm super happy that I went with my wife to Hobby Lobby. Good enough. That's enough of the turkey shot. I think it's time that we move on to our new ammunition and see what it's capable of. 
Ugh. Ugh. Dang it! Okay, I finally got the cinder block set up. We're gonna change over to the partner, and now we're gonna see what this ammunition can do. We're gonna start out with the brass pellet. I'm gonna hit the cinder blocks on the left with it, and then we'll hit the cinder blocks on the right with the steel dumbbell. All right, here we go. Now for the steel dumbbell, let's see what this does. You just got jammed. All right, it looks like both are pretty good at busting up cinder blocks and I have to say they both destroyed two which is pretty impressive. Let's see if we can find them here on the table. Oh, no, nope, it's right there, it's right in front of me. It's just concrete colored now. There's not a lot of deformation. It held together pretty well. And let's see about the steel dumbbell. It is probably somewhere over here also. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. All right, so it looks like it flew pretty true. You can see it's kind of chewed up there. 10 gauge brass pellet and 10 gauge steel dumbbell. Pretty heavy hitters. So we shot a hard target. Now let's shoot a liquid target. These are five gallon water jugs full of blue slime. Okay, brass pellets up first on the left target. Whoa! Ejected that one just fine. Steel dumbbell. Whoa! You just got jammed. Nothing a little handy dandy rod can't handle. Everything's clear. Seems to just be doing this with the steel dumbbells and not so much the brass pellets. So that slime, well, it's slimy. This, not so much. This is dark corn syrup gonna be a little bit thicker and I'm really curious to see what this looks like on the slow-mo camera. Oh, that slime is slick also, goodness gracious. Okay, brass pellets up first, left target, steel dumbbell, right target. This should be pretty interesting. Okie dokie then. Oh, darn it. Oh, it's everywhere. No. I'm going to do the steel dumbbell, but as soon as I shoot that, I'm going to run away because just strings of corn syrup were floating back and hitting me and they're all over the gun. It's like a very sticky spider web. All right, here we go. Oh! Okay, well, we got jammed again, and I have corn syrup all over my pants. Corn syrup was pretty disgusting, so I uh, figure why not just keep using disgusting stuff. We have one gallon jugs of mustard and a Texas Delicacy Demo Ranch dressing. And now we're gonna switch gears a little bit. I'm gonna switch over to the BPS and I've got some 10 gauge, three and a half inch, number four steel shot.
<laughs> okay, up next, I got some cabbage and we're gonna shoot some pine. <laughs> to excuse me I'm sorry about that so anyways now we're gonna shoot some pineapple and some cabbage this is about to be fun Listen, listen to me. This is the most fun I've ever had with a 10 gauge shotgun. This takes the cake. I think this is my favorite. <laughs> Nine rounds of 10 gauge, I mean, come on. Up next, we are gonna shoot some eggplant because nobody likes eggplant. Third time's a charm. <laughs> I also have the most disgusting canned good in the entire world, roasted eggplant puree. It's gonna get 18 pellets, double up buck. <laughs> Gosh darn it, maybe I shouldn't have gotten so close. Ugh. Up next I have two of my favorite targets, Brandon Herrera sauerkraut and Grand Thumbs favorite food, Grand Thumbs CRE crayons ready to eat. I know I said I should have scooted back a little bit with the eggplant puree, but that's no fun. <laughs> This shotgun is getting a really nice paint job today. You've got eggplant puree, sauerkraut, crayons, a little bit of corn syrup. Oh, that sauerkraut is just wafting in the air. Brandon, if the sauerkraut market doesn't work out, you could always turn it into a cologne. Okay, the last thing I wanna to do today before we end the video is see how fast I can empty this BPS. It's like an action movie, you know? He's the only one who can save the world.
All right, that's going to be it for today's video. I had a blast, and I want to know what your favorite thing about today's video was. Was it the new 10-gauge rounds, or was it the new shotguns? Let me know in the comment section down below, and also let me know what else you'd like to see us hit with the new 10-gauge rounds. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,